Hey, what's up guys, we're back. In this video, I'm going to take you through part three and four, creating your first campaign. So we already covered campaign settings and ad groups in the previous video. And now we're gonna go over some ad tips and uh, how to set your budget and your bids. So let's create our first ad. In previous years, uh, creating your ad looked nothing like this. It was title part one and part two, and then just an ad text area. But now we got three title parts and two text or ad text parts. So first thing that we have to do is come and grab our link. And we have to choose this one, not the one with volume one after it. Uh, and we can paste that in right there. And same for the mobile. So this one is for our weight loss specific Bing or weight loss Bing suggested campaign. So one thing that you can do is go to the uh, the offer and get ideas from their landing page on what to include in the actual uh, the actual ad. So I like to look for call to actions. And then short sentences I can use throughout the ad, like the hottest weight loss solution would be a good one. These could be good to include. All these are potential to be within the ad. Uh, real people, real results. Rush my order, 100% money back guarantee. That might be something. So I am going to create two ads for each of these ad groups that I just created because you always want to have more than one ad. I recommend two to four per ad group because in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up your tracking links with the tokens which are going to create or which are going to track ad IDs so we can see which ads are performing the best. So without further ado I'm going to start writing away. Okay so I just got done writing my first ad. I kind of just looked at the landing page a little bit and got some ideas so I came up with best weight loss product CLA safflower oil claim your free bottle now I always like having a call to action right here and then another call to action on the ad text part two so ideally when you set up your uh, landing page or your domain name throughout click funnels you will have something different mine says Cody no CPA.com which is totally way out there like we want something general or weight loss specific I kind of want to go over a few uh, ad copy tips and tricks with you guys. So this is what I've learned uh, creating ads for the past, well, how long have I been advertising on being like three to four years? Um, I always capitalize each letter just because I've done so many split tests and I've always found that capitalizing each letter turns out to be not just more return on investment per ad copy, but also an increased click-through rate as well. But this is something that you can test. I mean, if you guys don't believe me, make one ad just like this, and then go through your ad text and lowercase everything. You never know. I mean, everyone could get different results, but this is just what I found throughout so many years of doing it, so I think it's pretty credible. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try split testing it. I just wrote this one real quick. I'm gonna click save, and then I'm going to copy add to this ad group, and then I'm gonna copy add to all other ad groups. This just makes it easier because I don't have to go in and change the final URL or anything, but I can have exactly what I started doing and just edit it a little bit. And another tip that I wanted to show you guys was adding the year has also increased my click-through rate. But this is tricky because if you create your ads and New Year's comes along, you got to remember to change your ads because who's going to want to click on the hottest weight loss product of 2018 when it's 2019? A lot of people forget. And throughout doing my spying, I've seen a lot of people forget to change the years and it looks so unprofessional and it'll really damage your click-through rate. So best weight loss product, 2019. Something as simple like that could be a split test. I will test both these. Maybe adding, like leaving everything the same, but adding 2019 might increase my click-through rate by one to 2%, and that's huge. I mean, 
if it increases by 2%, let's say you get 500 impressions, that's an extra 10 clicks, you know, like that adds up a lot. So there's one split test right there, so I can save that. Another thing, remember we did our spying and I took a screenshot of some ad copy, so you wanna come and look at this. So we didn't really go the Shark Tank route, so I don't know if I wanna include that in my ad. So I'm gonna go with this, CLA warning. No, never mind, I'm not gonna go with that. I'm not gonna include Shark Tank, but let's see their text. 100% natural and organic, CLA safflower oil. I like the 100% natural and organic, so I'm gonna add that into this one. So I'm gonna copy this ad, edit. I'll add 100% natural. All right, so I added 100% natural and organic. So that's another split test that I can I can try. I will save that and then I'll go and edit this first one because that's the same as the top one. Uh, title part three, maybe I could add free trial bottle offer. Two big ones that I like to test is title part three and then the bottom, the bottom call to action. So I had hurry in the first one limited supply I'm kind of just doing this for an example so you guys get the point testing out capitalization adding a year trying out different call to actions all these are critical to split testing your ads so yeah I'm going to save that so I got two ads in each one all these have different ad IDs which we will be tracking in the next video so next is site link extensions and this is something I'll be going over in my paid training course. They are the text that appears underneath this whole ad. So let's say someone typed in CLA Safflower Oil. This ad pops up. So that whole ad will be at the top, ideally. And then if we have site link extensions, there'll be little site links like this right underneath it. And that takes up valuable Bing ads real estate. And that is a huge success factor. And that's something I really dive into in the paid training course. But I'm not going to go over that right now. It takes a while. Um, I will also show you how to track which site link extensions are giving you the conversions. So super helpful stuff right there. Price extensions, call out extensions. I'll be going over that in the paid training course. Um, then you don't go, you don't really have to worry about all these. So save and go to next step. And now we can set our bids. So remember at the beginning, uh, section one, we said $60 a day. One thing you can consider is accelerated. So spend your budget as quickly as possible. That is completely up to you. I will go standard just for this example, but if you have a bigger budget, consider doing accelerated. So bid strategy, enhance cost per click. If we don't have conversion tracking set up through Bing, then you do not want to do enhanced cost per click. I found this out with a Bing Ads representative call. He said if I don't have the if I don't have the Bing Ads UET tag set up on a thank you page to actually track conversions on Bing, remember we're doing it on Click Magic, then you don't want to use enhanced cost per click. So that's a tip for you guys. Use the bid that I set. So weight loss and Bing suggested you remember how we copied over this ad group and the average cost per click was 136? That's what they set you at. But I don't want to spend that much. Let's go. Let's go 40 cents. Um, whatever you guys choose right there, just remember that you can change it. Maybe if you want to test out, see if 30 cents will get you some clicks. Let it run for a few days, increase it if you need to, decrease it if you need to. And then for the bulk, we have a lot more keywords in here. So I'm going to try getting away with, let's say, 25 cent clicks and just see what happens. You never know. Advanced campaign settings. So you can increase your bid for different countries. So when we have our tracking set up and let's say people from the UK, their, your earnings per click from the UK is $5 and you're spending 40 cents per click you wanna increase your bid so you can get more clicks and a higher position, then you can just come in here and individually increase it. Let's say by 50%. So uh, the UK bid would actually be 60 cents here, you know? 
uh, 50% of 40 is 20 and then you add it so 60 cents so that's useful um, add schedule you can schedule your start and end dates then device this is something that you can split test and I'll be going over that more in my paid training course to have different ad groups set up for desktop versus tablet versus smartphone but you definitely don't have to right away because you can um, on our click magic results once we start getting clicks you can see if it was a mobile phone that was clicking your ad or a desktop or a tablet and let's say you have a hundred clicks from a tablet but zero conversions then you can not you can uh, come over to device and decrease the bid by a hundred percent for tablet so that's very useful audience ads we're not gonna do that ad distribution so where on the internet do you want your ads to show so do you want it all search networks which is Bing AOL and Yahoo search and syndicated partners or do you want just Bing AOL and Yahoo search so only those three or do you want Bing AOL Yahoo syndicated search partners only that's another thing that you can split test but for now I'll leave it on all search networks and then save so Congrats if you've been following along with your own campaign. Uh, you just created your first one. It's actually really exciting. Depending if you're a newbie with Bing ads or you've created a lot of campaigns before, I found that when you just start out, it'll actually take a while for your campaigns to get approved. But if you're constantly using Bing ads, you kind of develop like a little trust relationship. And when I create my campaigns on my ad accounts where I have a whole bunch, it's like a few hours and it gets accepted. So uh, if it goes longer than a business day and you still aren't seeing any impressions, then contact Bing Ads. So I'll click got it. And there it is. So we're almost done creating the first campaign. We still have to go in each individual ad and add our tracking link. And I will be going over that in the next video. So see you there.